Okay. Hello, my name is Devin Monroe, and today I'll be letting you know why I believe smoking tobacco should be legal. The first main claim I'll go over is that cigarettes and cigars are harmful to our environment, and second I'll go over second I'll go over is that cigarettes and cigars are not are harmful to public health as well. Okay, so. The first way, uh, the first reason cigarettes and cigars are harmful to the environment is they cause pollution. In recent studies, or in, in a recent um, shore, shoreline cleanup, which covered over 34,000 miles of shoreline and 68 countries, an organization called the Ocean Conservancy, which is based in Washington, D.C., um, found 7.7 .7 million items of debris collected in this one pickup, in one day, and 1.9 million of the items collected were cigarette butts and other cigarette items like cigars and stuff. And this was the seventh consecutive year that they topped the, those items to top the list. And um, not only do they do um, tobacco products cause um, pollution in our oceans, but they cause wildfires, as many of us know from the. Um, 2001 fire near San Diego, which was caused by a driver flicking a cigarette butt out of his car window. And more recently than that, Canada had a wildfire that burned over, um, that burned thousands of trees and one, one of the large forests, and thousands of people had to flee the area. According to tobacco.org, they've had, we've had dozens of wildfires be due to cigarettes just in this month of April. Um, okay, now, secondly, how cigarettes and cigars are bad for the public health. Cigarettes and, cigarettes and cigars release a, a large amount of chemicals into the air. Just in one cigarette, um, there's 7,000, in secondhand smoke of one cigarette, there's 7,000 chemical compounds, 250 which are known to be harmful to us, and over 69 which are known to be cancerous. Um, According to the U U.S. Surgeon General report, living, just living with a smoker or working in a smoking environment increases your chances of getting heart disease by 25 to 30 percent and increasing your, increases your chances of lung cancer by 20 to 30 percent. And um, not only are they, do they cause large amounts of chemicals that go, go into the air, but because of the secondhand smoke, more people are affected by that than, the, than there are actual smokers. Just in the U.S. alone, there are 45 million adult smokers. That's, <clears throat> now, that's not including the teenagers that get cigarettes illegally or people that are still in high school. And um, those smokers affect two, 126 million adults world, um, just in the U.S. And 22 million children, which are 3 to 11 years old. And that 22 million children is 60 percent of our child po entire child population, and uh, all these statistics are taken from the Centers of Disease and Control Prevention. And um, the secondhand smoke is also one of the leading causes. Er, smoking in general is one of the leading causes of death <coughs> in the U.S. And secondhand smoke is cause of 49,400 deaths a year. And um, those are the reasons why I believe smoking tobacco should be. Right, Devin, there's a lot of information in the speech, uh, but
but there's not a lot of argument in the speech. I don't think that anybody's going to dispute that smoking has negative health consequences. I don't think that there's any controversy that uh, a lot of litter involves cigarette butts and those sorts of things, so that's not where the controversy is. Well, there, is there might be some controversy about how big an impact it has. For example, you mentioned you know how many million items were cigarette butts or cigarette-related material out of the seven million that got picked up on this one-day activity. But what I didn't hear is any consequence to that. In other words, are there fish being killed off? Did somebody develop a disease? Did it uh, create uh, some harm to birds or the natural environment? Or is it just like any other piece of trash, whether it's a cup, a straw, or something else? It's just it's simply a piece of trash. There's not anything that's particularly different or significant about the cigarettes that causes a unique problem on that issue. On the issue about health consequences, a lot of the health consequences, like I said before, are not in dispute. There might be some dispute about how big an impact the secondhand smoke has. This estimate of 126 million uh, people being affected sounds to me like it's one of those places where there might be some controversy on the argument. Um, but it's also presented in a very conclusionary way, so I think that if you wanted to develop that as an issue, uh, you would need to have you would need to focus on that and get into that a lot more. Uh, the if uh, it's not identifiable to you, I think a lot of other people probably noticed it. This is a policy claim that you're presenting, and policy claim involves a lot of secondary issues that are not necessarily the ones that you're going to talk about. Uh, it, this is supposed to be a claim of fact, an argument about what is true. There's no dispute about the potential danger of cigarette smoke. There's probably a little bit of dispute about how big an impact it has on uh, the environment, but you don't distinguish. You know, your claim about the environment is not that it is a significant impact, it's just that, that it has an impact. So I'm not sure where there's controversy on that. Now, there might be some controversy about whether or not uh, it is uh, appropriate to... Um, uh, abolish smoking, whether or not there are rights that are involved, whether or not there are economic consequences, whether it's possible to do, those all become elements that would be, I think, appropriate for a refutation speech if this stays a policy claim. And that is uh, problematic. All right. Thank you.